What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be applying my hair extensions to my short hair. I just want, you guys requested me to show you how I blend my hair extensions with my short hair and it is quite a, it's quite a challenge but I'm going to show you my technique on how I do it, how do I achieve, um, to be able to put on my hair extensions and not show that I have short hair in their hair extensions. I'm just going to show you how I do it. I don't think it's like a, oh my god, Francis, you have blown my mind. I have never thought in my life that I would could wear hair extensions the way you wear them because it's just amazing where did you learn that trick? You're just a goddess because you just learn how to do it and you're just amazing. No, just whatever works. Like, honestly, it has worked for my hair and I just, I keep using it. So, <laughs> if you guys want to see how I apply my extensions, then let's watch. So here I have, this are the Lily Galici set by Bellamy Hair and these are 260 grams of hair and it's 20 inches long. So my first thing that I tell you is if you have short hair like me and you want to wear hair extensions, do no, I don't recommend you passing 20 inch of um, length in hair extensions because then it's going to be a lot harder for you to blend and you will be able to see the difference between the short hair and the long hair. And I'm going to tell you what makes it, what works for me when I have straight hair to be able to blend them is this right here. Thanks to this. <laughs> this right here is what helps it look a little more on the natural side. And I'll show you guys in a minute why. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I uh, to do this. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start off, you know where your earrings are at? Just a little bit above that. And that's where I'm going to start parting my hair. That's going to be my first part. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but that's where I'm going to start. If it's just like that. Honestly, it's not going to be perfect, so... So I don't want to go all the way on top of my ears or in the middle because it's a lot of webs and we want to put all of them in so we want to make sure that we give enough space. So by having that, when my husband is around or my mom is around, what I like to do with this, I like to braid it. So I like to go ahead and grab this here and braid this part because normally this short ends, the short strands tend to sit there and you don't want that to be showing when you have extensions. So make sure you go ahead and remove this out of out out of your out of your neck. All right, so I just do a little ponytail like that. I know it looks weird, but I tell you, it doesn't move from there whatsoever. And if you're wearing your hair down, you won't be able to see it and your hair doesn't move. This doesn't move to the side. Just stays there all day. So I'm going to start off with a small a small weft and I'm going to I usually start with a one with a three clip weft. What I like to do is I like to start off with the middle clip and apply that right in the middle. And then the corner clips, what I like to do is I like to grab the corner of the hair, twist it, and apply that clip into that little twist. So I grab the corners of the hair, twist it. And make sure that grasp on there okay so then we move on and we go a little bit above that okay so then we go ahead and part it again and then what I like to do is I like to grab make sure that I'm grabbing all that short hair strands start with one side so you guys can see what I do okay so I like to grab half of it and twist it. Do a little twist to the back. Just a twist. I grab that corner grab that corner clip and I apply it right there where I started that twist. Then I grab the back one and I clip and I make sure that I'm clipping the twist to the middle of the back of my hair. So it's out, it's out of the sides. So let's do it again with this side. So what I'm doing is I'm sort of twisting my sides and I'm bringing it to the back and in the middle I'm crossing those two twists and I'm using the middle clip to hold those two strands of hair in the middle so it falls right in the middle of my head and then on the side I'm clipping 
the hair extensions onto the twist to make sure that it, uh, it stays securely there and as well the hair falls into the back not into the front we don't want nothing short in the front or on the sides we're gonna go on top of the where our eyebrows end is where we're gonna go sometimes you're gonna get a lot of hair sometimes you're not but if you do have a lot of hair there's parts where it's gonna be a lot of hair you can again twist it you can braid it make sure you take everything outside you can braid it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab that part as you can see this I'm going to twist it I'm gonna leave it there twisted and I'm going to grab a four clip strand and I'm going to start with the two in the middle to make sure that I grab those twisties I'm not letting go of the twist in the back yet until I make sure that I grab everything I want to grab and everything is to the back and there we go I'm clipping away so every hair I want it twist to the back nothing in the front all we want on the sides and in the front is the hair extension so everything all the hair is pretty much hanging in the back of the hair extensions here and that's what we want because we don't want them to show on the side So the same thing, we want to grab whatever is on the side and we're going to twist it towards the back. Again, the other side, whatever we have, okay? And we're going to twist it and we're going to make an X in the back, just like this, just like this, okay? We're going to grab the last four clip strand. The two middle ones are going to hold each side of the twist. I'm not letting go yet until I make sure that the sides, I'm grasping them and leave them back there. All right. And then I let go. But as you can see, nothing in the front no short no shortness no short hair in the front nothing if you move the hair extension like this you flip your hair you don't see any short strand of hair everything is hair extension because everything it's all twisted towards the back so now the side is where well it gets a little trick tricky when you have your hair um straight that is where my little clip comes in handy so we just have two more le uh, weft left, which are the two clip ones, which are smaller. You normally they come on the side of your face. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to go ahead and part it with your eyebrow arch. Halfway, not all the way to the back, halfway. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to where we have that last four clip weft. So this is what it looks like. I have something up here. But then I'm going down towards that last weft was at. So I have this on the side, just a little bit on the side, just a little bit on the side, and then I'm looking at to where that last weft I put, and I am. Here we go, nothing shows, nothing's good, no shortness, just the part, this part, front part, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it, what I do with it. Then over here also, on the arch of your eyebrow, halfway, and then we're going to look for where we parted that last weft. See, I can see it. So that's where we're grabbing. Up here, down to where the last weft is at.
There we go. Nothing on the side. You can see nothing, nothing. You don't see nothing. You don't want to see no wefts. No wefts. And in the front, we just want to make sure that all we are look, all we see is long hair. No short strands, except of course the ones in the front. No short strands. No short strands. Everything looks very well blended. All right. So what I like to do in the front because I don't like to show that I have you know shorter strands in the front. For me, it doesn't look even. Like I don't really like that short strands. Some people like it. Some people leave it because honestly, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. You can. Definitely leave it like that, but I'm very I'm a little picky when it comes to like this strands in the back Like I'm a little picky to of what how this looks like see See how it looks you see how that how bad that looks So what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and clip My hair back with a little bit of the hair extensions just like that and with the clip I clip it in there Nothing shows in the front nothing shows in the back. But here we go. This is pretty much how I blend my hair extensions. Just want to show you that you don't see any short hair, you don't see any short strands. Everything looks very well blended, as you guys can see. <laughs> well, you guys, that's it. I hope you guys found that helpful. Honestly, I really tried to explain it, but it's really hard to explain it in camera. So I really hope that it worked for you, and I really hope that you can take away from this. And you don't have to do the clip thing if you like curl your hair because with the curls it makes it look a lot more um, fuller and the curls blend a little bit better. But honestly, when it's straight, that's pretty much what I like to do. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. What the hair extensions I'm wearing, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them also down below. And if you really like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for sticking till the end. Mwah! Beso de si, bless for I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.